What is going on YouTube? My name is Goat Jones and this is a Marvel Blaze production. I'm coming to you tonight to solve the secret that is in Houston. Today's date is 2-8-2021 and it is 9.04 p.m. You may also send an inquiry if you believe you have determined the location of a treasure but are unable to explore it in person. If you are correct and have successfully responded to the options below, we will retrieve the treasure cask. You will receive the treasure jewels as described in the next paragraph, but the cask shall remain the property of the fair people. I have determined the site of a treasure, but I am unable to explore it. I have reached out to Herman Park in Houston, Texas, and they will not allow any digging. This is how I've determined the location of a treasure using the clues in the secret. And I will describe precisely the exact site of the treasure to you right now. Everybody can know that this is Herman Park. Check that out. Notice this right here, y'all. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now watch this. Here we go. Fortress North, cold as glass, friendship south. Take your task. The Butterfly Museum is right here. It's glass. Friendship Pavilion is south. That's north, facing north, and that's south. Fortress North, cold as glass. Friendship South, take your task. To the number 982, through the wood, no lion fears. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, okay? This is where this is where there's a, a trick in the trail, okay? Small of scale step across doesn't come until you're at what we take to be our strongest tower of delight. There's a, a railroad crossing right here. Right here. So through the through the wooden align beers. This is where the three winged and slight comes into play, right? So we're just gonna go through that right now. It says through the wood and align fears in the sky the water veers. Okay, in the sky, the water veers, I happen to believe is just where the two waters are separated, the reflection pool, right? And then there's the lake right there. So let's go back to this. Small of scale, step across, per perspective should not be lost. This is where the perspective is, okay? I want you guys to notice this right here on the bottom, the bottom of the post. I just showed you guys from Google Earth, this little... I mean, there it is right there. Let me try and move it up so I can give you guys that, that view again. So there's the post with the ball. There's the ball and the post going down. But notice on the bottom, see how it's upside down? If you take this and then the rounded portion, perspective should not be lost because now it's right side up. There's the trick in the trail. Okay. Now, I want you all to notice this in the back right here. Notice this right here. That brick had, had me going for a little bit until I found out that you can actually zoom in on this thing. So let me, let me go down to where it is. There, see that? Look at that. Everybody can see there's an eyeball right there. Now look, there's the gem. There's the gem. See the gem? There's the gem. You could notice the color difference right there. There's the gem. This is where the, the actual treasure lies. This is the secret right here. Now, going back to the poetry where it says perspective should not be lost in the center of four alike. Let's just zoom in on that. In the center of four alike. One, two, three, four. Four. Those are actual water fountains in the center of four alike, right? 
That's where the trick in the trail is. Small, split, three-winged slide. That's where you're supposed to take the right and go through the woods. But now it goes back up here that your perspective should not be lost in the center of four alike. What we take to be our strongest tower of delight. It is the Pioneer Memorial Obelisk made of granite. There it is. In the center of four alike, the strongest tower of their delight of the founding fathers or the, the city founders, the city founders, honoring the city founders. Now, I just showed you guys from the bottom of this thing that this was turned upside down. Let's just go ahead and turn it right side up and zoom in on that. Remember that brick right there? There it is. There's the brick. It's turned, right? You guys are about to just crap your pants right here. Look at that. Look at that. Now, how does that fit into the poem? Well, let's go back to it. This is where the highlighting comes at. Look at that. There's the leaf. It's kind of turned a little bit. There's that. There's the leaf, there's the leaf, there's the leaf, there's the leaf. And it's right on where it is in the secret, right there. Because it says, looking back from treasure ground, there's the spout of whistle sounds. Um, when I go up on this, let me back it up. When on Google Earth 360, there it is, okay? See, there's the water fountains. One, two, three, four. In the center of four alike, the strongest tower of delight. Looking back from treasure ground, there's the spout. There's the guy, there's the spout. And everybody knows that when you look on a map, Here's the train tracks. That represents train tracks on any map. There's the train tracks. Small split, step across, step across. Looking back from treasure ground, there's the spout. There's where the train crosses, a whistle sounds. Look down, there's the leaf, right there. That's where the treasure's at. The treasure is buried right there. I am Goat Jones. I have endured so much hectic stuff just by trying to do something positive. Here's my post. Okay, fair people, how would you feel if I just posted a video on here to solve the puzzle in Houston? People would definitely try to go and dig it up without permission, obviously, to try and take credit for solving the puzzle. I cannot get permission to dig, and I'm quite confident this community of searchers would have my back in being the solver. It's one thing to go about doing things but I would rather keep my integrity than to go about something illegal and risk losing my respect and honor. My hope is that because of the difficulty in obtaining permission to dig, posting the solve would be my key to give publicly in turn and in turn set fire through media for the priest family to obtain permission to retrieve the cask for me as stated in the book. The clues are undeniable proof of where the cask lies, quietly waiting to be retrieved legally. My question to you in all this is, do you have my back on this? Will you have my back? I will post my solve going on my YouTube channel tonight. There won't be any doubt about who, it, who is the Houston solver. I am Goat Jones. And here's some of the comments I have just... Dude, just post your theory. If if it holds some weight, 
They may like it, but blah, 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 blah. So I got some of these people saying, delete this, right? We got some memes, theory, no better, no less than anyone else. Will it end in spam? If you post it as a potential solution as opposed to an absolute positive definitive solution, I think you get more positive response. All I did was try to let people know that I wanted to have their opinion on this, right? He's so tired, he needs a break from the page, yada, yada, yada. Let's, let's see some more replies. Okay, here we go. Top secret, mostly ourselves. Look at this. Just smoke, right? It's just smoke. Shh, quiet, right? Quiet. Really? Come on, man. People are laughing. People are laughing at this. So here it is, y'all. Here it is. That's the solve. That's the solve. I doubt anybody would really have anything to say about this because I just broke it down. I broke it down with the clues. That's a clue. This is a clue. The big obelisk is a clue, right? Right here. There's the there's that. It's highlighted. Obviously, it's illuminated. This is illuminated. The leaf is illuminated. The leaf is on top of this where I just shown you. Looking back from the treasure, there's a spout. The whistle sounds. There's the gem. The gem is inside here in the little face. There's your solve, y'all. I am Goat Jones. Man, I hope this actually does something positive. I hope that somebody will allow me to go and dig it up. But if somebody digs it up and tries to take credit, hey, <laughs> I guess uh, everybody might laugh at me. But, but then again, they might actually respect me for trying to do this legally. So let's try and get this thing. Let's try and get this thing solved and in my hands so I can do something with my life that's positive. Can we do that? Man, I would appreciate your guys' support on this. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Give a thumbs down if you don't. But help me get this out publicly. Share this with as many people as you can. Because tonight the Houston Solve has just been solved. Thank you.